A gap of some 3,600 bilingual teachers needed by the district. Instead, the district is attempting to requalify its own teachers to make them sign waivers saying they will learn Spanish and bilingual methodology and pass a test in those areas within seven years or be moved to another school. Betty Spears studied Spanish for two years, took the test three times and failed each time. In a frustration, she wrote a song. They did not have a replacement. And it's very demoralizing. And I was very angry when I found out about it. In my same situation, I'm still in the bilingual classroom. Spears says the teacher who replaced her in her old classroom is not bilingual and not fully certified yet. Mama Spears changed her voice. It was too Sally Peterson disagrees with the full bilingual teaching method in Los Angeles. Last March, I said, this is it. This is really wrong. We've got to stand up. We never stand up for anything. We always complain. I put a paper on the desk and I said, sign if you're interested in helping reform transitional bilingual education. At the end of the day, there were 30 names. Peterson says since then, several thousand teachers have joined her group called Learning English Advocates Drive, or LEAD. She and members believe that students learn the English language faster if they're taught in English with a Spanish aid nearby, adding a few emphasis on English as a second language instruction. And the minute you speak out and try to constructively criticize the program, you are immediately labeled to a racist, to a disloyal, uh, you didn't care about your Latino students or their needs, and you were lazy. So far, LEAD it hasn't received much sympathy from the school board. It's a very, very difficult uh, process uh, to go from one language to another. And I would recommend to the teachers of LEAD, for example, that uh, just as they find themselves in that situation, so do the students, in that there, it seems to me there would be more empathy on the part of the teachers. We got with board member, member Leticia Cazada Tomorrow night, we hear from the experts, the people who study the research on bilingual education and have definite ideas about how children learn best. And we've heard a lot about Spanish. What about the other languages, like Vietnamese or Korean? Yeah. That's a good question. Because there are 81 different languages spoken in the L.A. school district. However, 90% of the time, the language is Spanish, and that's why most of the attention is paid to Spanish, and some of those other kids who speak the minority language are sometimes detected sink or swim when it comes to learning English. Well, you can now dial a baker. This is Hammy Baker. Chris Plackham reports on a new 900 number that will put you in touch with the baker for a price. Hello, this is Danny Bates. This is Jim. Jim